Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the Britons and um, why I'm not doing it. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, I've been I've been going through a few personal things recently, which um, I won't go into detail about because obviously it's private and everything else. But it just um, got to a point where it was sort of all getting a little bit too much, and um, I am someone that sort of holds myself to a very high standard in terms of when I'm trying to achieve a goal and I wasn't in a position to sort of live up to that standard um, and I think that that added to the pressures of the whole thing completely so obviously sort of going through some stuff at, at home and some personal stuff and sort of getting used to that sort of feeling of being in pain all the time like I was doing strongman and obviously I didn't leave myself a lot of time to get ready for Britain's Strongest Man. So I was under a lot of pressure anyway. But I mean, I think the big thing for me is I put myself under a lot of pressure. So when I'm sort of trying to achieve something, I really heap a lot of pressure on myself because I know what I expect of myself. And um, just felt like my um, sort of mental state was diminishing on a almost daily basis and um, sort of coupled with sort of everything else going on in my life. And then basically the long and the short of it is I got to a point last week where, you know, I couldn't even force myself to leave the house. So um, I, I wasn't really training as well as I should have done and stuff like that. So I, um, yeah, it, it was just a tough time for me mentally. And I think we all go through tough times and, you know, life can get a little bit much sometimes. And, um, yeah, sometimes you just need to tap out for a few days, a few weeks, whatever, and sort of take the pressure off yourself, step away from a situation which is which is causing you a lot of stress, which getting ready for Britain's was, um, and sort of deal with um, real life issues. Um, so I, I felt that it was best that I wasn't, you know, that I stepped away and, I wasn't in a position to really um, be able to do what I wanted to do. So um, it's Monday morning and I sort of made a decision last night that I'm going to sort of work through the process of, of fixing myself, um, which, you know, involves a little bit of sort of discipline and sort of pushing yourself to do things that you don't want to do so I'm up I'm out the house today um, I've been and done cardio already this morning and I'll train later on tonight uh, and yeah it's just a case of sort of taking one step at a time at the moment um, I think you know I've got some stuff that I need to deal with um, in my own head and in my own life and you know that I sort of will continue, obviously, to work through. But I, um, you know, I've got to take one step at a time. And the first step is getting myself training again. So uh, that, that always sort of puts a positive spin on my life. So that's the first step. And, um, you know, I suppose I, I'm sort of putting this out there because everyone puts their best parts of their life out and their, their sort of, um, you know, their highlight reel. And I just sort of wanted to put this out there so people understand that it's not just you that's going through troubles and, you know, it's not just you that finds life difficult sometimes. Um, we all go through it. Um, just some people hide it away and some people sort of deal with it in different ways. But, you know, I suppose I wanted to just do this to, to kind of make people realise that it's not just you and you can take positive steps to try and get out of any situation. And um, part of that is having good people around you and keeping your, you know, your circle of people that you trust and respect their opinions and everything, keep them close to you. And also take positive steps yourself, whether that's starting to eat better or train or do some things that are fun. You know, you, you can still take positive steps, but part of that is sort of turning that corner and, and forcing yourself to do it. So it's Monday. 
I'm getting up, I'm forcing myself to do things that I perhaps don't really feel like doing at the moment to, to try and get myself in a better place. And hopefully by the end of the week, I'll be feeling a little bit happier and a little bit more able to be around people. And um, I can come up and watch Britain's Strongest Man and see everyone at the meet and greet. Um, because I know a few of you wanted to come up watch me compete but also to meet me as well so I'm hoping I can um, get myself in a state where I'm I'm able to do that so yeah just got to take the first step today and try and be a bit more positive but like I said if you're going through some stuff you're not alone it's not just you don't buy into this everyone's got a perfect life on social media and this whole um, highlight reel that everyone posts we all have problems sometimes and it's not any shame to go through that. So don't go through it alone. And there's always people out there that that can help you. So try and be positive. Try and take that first step to getting your life back where you want it to be. And yeah, just just keep walk, one foot in front of the other. Always one foot in front of the other. That's, that's sort of my favourite saying at the moment is, you know, so long as I'm putting one foot in front of the other, I'm always moving forward. So um, that's what I plan on doing. But anyway, again, sorry for anyone that came up to that bought tickets to come and watch me at the Britons. But I am hoping to make it up there if I can sort of get myself in a, in a place where it's not going to be too too stressful. So um, I'm working hard to try and try and do that. So hopefully see some of you Saturday.